Good evening, I'm Brian Wilk. One community favorite in Northeast, Gibson Days made its return this weekend after a two-year cancellation due to COVID-19. Julia Hazel joins us in the studio with more after going to the event. Julia? Good evening, Brian. That's right. Organizers tell me that they had a great weekend, booking a lot more vendors and seeing a lot more people come out to buy local. It feels like everything is back to normal for vendors at Gibson Park on Sunday. They were busy setting up their tables and products, welcoming people to their tent for the first weekend back since 2019 because of COVID-19. Glenn Seymour has been displaying his wife's floral art since the beginning when Gibson Days began in the 1990s. Well, it all started as a, a little fundraiser at the time. And uh, it's gradually went just to be around people. From jewelry, clothing, ceramics, and food, and more, there's a lot to choose from, especially since there's more than double the number of vendors to buy items from. We normally have about 30 vendors, and this year we have almost 80, so we actually had to turn people away this year. So people definitely have been crafting and doing things during the pandemic that brought them out this year. Vendors say that they're excited Gibson Days are back from a two-year hiatus from COVID-19. The, the Gibson Days event two years ago, we were really happy with it. We were kind of disappointed it didn't happen last year because of COVID restrictions. We're so happy to be back this year. While some vendors have been going year after year, for others, it's a brand new experience. Turnout yesterday was really good and we're doing really, we're having really good sales. So hopefully the sales today will be even better. Organizers and vendors tell me they just can't wait until they go to the next year's event. Brian. Julia, thank you very much.